been a while, it's been a while. I want to start off my little set by saying I love men. I do, I love them. I have great times with them. I love a good stiff one, but from my perspective as a woman, I was so glad to see that someone finally evened up the odds. You know what I mean? It's like, whoom, Motherfuckers are panicking across the country. Men don't know what to do. They're dicks. Do you realize what a cachet this is to discover? You see, women live with the, the, the knowledge that weird shit could happen at any point. You go down a dark alley and whoosh, somebody grabs you. And now, men actually have to think about this shit. You know, because you talk to a guy, you know? Come on, man. Yeah. It's 1994, and the shit is hitting the fan. <laughs> Women are pissed. That's why they're going, yay! Yes, you get it, now you do. But see, I think that this poor woman should not be going through the changes she's going through simply because she could have been a bitch about this. You realize what I'm saying? Nobody has mentioned this. She should get some time off. She should. Because she told them where the dick was. <laughs> See? I would not have told her. That's right, uh-uh. Find it, motherfucker. You know, find it. Uh-huh. You so attached to it, see if you can sniff it out. <laughs> Ooh, I was thrilled, but it seems to be the year of the dick. Everybody's dick is in the news. Bill Clinton's dick was in the news. I was so thrilled to know that he could fuck, I was overjoyed. Because I want a man in the White House who can fuck. I think it's important. I fuck, you fuck, he should fuck. And I just want to say, if there's anybody who's a little squeamish about any of this language, get the fuck out now. Go. Go. I am tired. I am tired of trying to tiptoe around everybody's fucking attitude. Fuck it. Montel, kiss my ass. black woman with good fucking reason. I believe in the equality of people. I believe you have the right to decide what is good for you. If you didn't know what you were going to, motherfucker, you should have kept your ass home. See? Now, I know white people are nervous about the word nigga. I get it. Black people were upset about the word nigga. Okay. It don't bother me. Having never been one, I don't worry about it. <laughs> but, but, I understand, I understand that everybody's where I'm at. But I noticed nobody said shit when all these goddamn Aunt Jemima cookie jars started showing up. You know what I'm talking about, the ones they're making now? Nobody said shit. I've been in blackface all my life. I ain't heard no problems. People had problems with my hair, they didn't know what the fuck it was. Now everybody look like me. Ha ha. <laughs> okay? Michael Jackson, god damn it, look. Here's my question, and maybe I'm crazy. 500 people now coming out the woodwork saying, yes, I saw everything. I was there. Bitch, your ass needs to be in jail. Yeah. See? Forget, forget Michael. What about all the people who knew? Where the fuck were they? I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I don't get it. And you know, I, I really, as Paul said, I hope that Michael didn't do it. It is my gut, my belief, my desire 
that none of this is true. But I must tell you, it is getting hard to really accept this when he's sitting up on TV with some eyelashes on. <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> Take me seriously. <laughs> you know, people shoot themselves in the foot. No. <laughs> he looked like Liza Minnelli. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. It's so hard to know what's real and what's not. You know, it's like that last year was a, an interesting year. I had an interesting time with the media because I was fucking somebody I wasn't supposed to be fucking. See, that's the bottom line. Yeah, a big, wealthy white man. Okay. <laughs> And people didn't know how to get me out of it. They didn't know what to do. They just, they couldn't put it together. Cause you know, we're not the two people you would pick out in the room, but it was great fun. We had a good time. People were upset. So we went and talked about all the shit that you read about in, the, in, the, in those newspapers. Nobody seemed to mind when they printed, you know, that I was fucking him under the doors of his mother's house. Nobody had a problem with that, but put the man in a little black face and people go berserk. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So look, we're here for Comic Relief 6. Billy Rob and I never thought we'd be here for the sixth year, but we are. But at least... <laughs> at least this time, we have an administration that is open to what we're trying to do. So in closing, I simply want to say please, Send those dollars in because they go to the places where they need to go. If not us, who? Keep that in mind because us on the streets is spreading. Yeah. I gotta, I just, I had to take this second to come out here because I, I was sitting at home last night just thinking. And you know, I've been reading about, you know, Tuesday, the, the government might go under financially and you know we're in this big debt and it occurred to me who the fuck do we owe a trillion dollars to <laughs> think about who the fuck do we owe a trillion dollars to think about it what the fuck did we buy I mean, do you know how many zeros a trillion is? It's not like, oh, you know, there's a billion dollars. It's a trillion fucking dollars. What did we spend it on? I know what we didn't spend it on. We didn't spend it on fucking education. No. They asked a bunch of high school kids what the Monroe Doctrine was. They didn't know. They thought it was a ban. You know, it ain't welfare because you know there'd be nobody on it if there was a trillion dollars out there. I'd have fucking gotten off. That's right. There's not that many babies in the goddamn world. A trillion dollars. It couldn't have been spent on medical care because fuck, we wouldn't be here tonight, would we? And the Republicans keep saying they want to cut. What the fuck else you going to cut that's going to make a dent in a trillion dollars? Think about it. Think a trillion. I can't, the number is staggering to me. I know what they can cut. They can cut the fucking space shuttle. Come on. Every week this thing is going up there. What do they think is going to be up there that wasn't up there the week before? They already met Russia in space and unfucked in space. They made babies. They've done everything. Get the fuck out of the sky. You know, forget defense. What are we defending against? What is left? We got shit that will not shit out. Give me that money, honey. No, cause you know, they're getting ready to cut, you know, no, nothing from me. They want more taxes from my black ass, okay? These motherfuckers waited till I made some money <laughs> to say, you know, forget it, bitch, we're taking it. 
It's very peculiar. The whole fucking world's gotten very strange to me. Very strange. You know, we we do these appeals, and a lot of the footage, you know, is old that we're using now because the TV stations told us they don't have a lot of new stuff on the homeless because they said there's nothing new to report on the homeless. Well, how about they're still fucking out there? They're still there. And you know, it's cool. Y'all are sitting pretty. I know what you paid for these tickets. Y'all are feeling pretty good this year. You know? But think of all the people who were there two years ago who are out there now, see? Homelessness just isn't hot. And that's because the impact of what the new government is trying to do hasn't been felt yet. Do we not dare, honey? You got to trust me. Reagan's back and we got him. It's the Reagan years all over again, only without a snappy designer and some china. But the shit is back, you know? They're dismantling everything. You know, they didn't dismantle the first time. Children, education, feeding children is now a problem in school. We don't want to feed the kids because we got to put that money at war. Think about it. You may not know it yet, but the people on the streets know it. And that's why we're here. I just wanted to remind you a little bit about what's really happening in the country because you actually can do something. See, y'all got to wake up. We have to wake up. And we got to start saying, hell no, because <laughs> every cut they make over here is going to kick your ass later on. And you think I'm bullshit? Look at y'all sitting up here, yeah, bitch, right? <laughs> bullshit. I'm going to have my BMW forever. You'll be living in that motherfucker soon, honey. You know? So I just wanted to come out for a second. I don't have much to say. No, I don't. You know, I don't want to talk about the guy in the Bronco. The shit is over. They did what they did. Fuck him. You know, Colin Powell, you knew they weren't going to let him run. You know, for, for, for a couple of years, I say, what, bitch? <laughs> I come out for five minutes and you going to kick my ass from way up there? Let me finish my shit so I can get off the stage. I was disappointed Colin didn't run. I was, I was. But I think what happened was they turned on the light in a room and noticed he was black. I said, look at the dick. They all went and got their hoods. You notice they came out after him, though. They came out after him. You know, two years ago, he was Colin Powell. He was Colin Powell. Now, you know, you listen to them talk about him. It's like he's got the plague, baby. The shit is coming. We are in. The fantasy movie, the sci-fi movie has begun. Are you ready? Are you ready for it? Are you ready, really? You going to vote next year? Excuse me? I want you all to do, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Everybody stand up. And I want you to say these words. I'm going to vote next year because I've got to kick some ass. I'm really all about it 